everyone, Tasif here. As you can see, I am in my vehicle driving and enjoying the day. I got out of my apartment this afternoon and um, last night I, th I, I had some plans in my mind. I thought I was going to go to Chicago. Then at one point I thought I might go to Milwaukee and Chicago would have been my preference because I have a few things I need to do um, in that city. Now, I decided not to because of the fact that the city is not safe. Now, for someone like me who grew up in the city of Dhaka, which is a city of more than 22 million people in the country of Bangladesh, and Dhaka, obviously, uh, one of the most densely populated cities in the world. And there's, there's a lot of crime, uh, as one might expect in a big city. Now, having grown up in Dhaka, it might seem that, you know, I, I shouldn't be worried about crime in Chicago. But no, that's really not the case. I am actually very worried about Chicago because the city... Chicago City, once upon a time, an amazing city. It really has descended into chaos over the last few years. Now, big cities always have issues, as I mentioned. I grew up in Dhaka, lots of crime there. There's crime in Los Angeles, New York, you know, lots of other places. But the case of Chicago is, is pretty different because it, it's not just about crime. I think there's chaos in the city. The rule of law in Chicago has been greatly diminished. And let me, let me just share with you some data that a friend share with, shared with me uh, uh, just, uh, just you know yesterday or maybe earlier uh, in the early hours today. More than 450 stolen vehicles in Chicago in a week okay more more than 450 vehicles were stolen in a span of a single week in the city of Chicago what does that tell you how how's that even possible how's that happening how did the city get to the point that f more than 450 vehicles get stolen in a week that's something like what 60 65 i'm just rounding up the numbers it's more more than 450 might be 457 i i just can't remember <laughs> but that's like 65 stolen vehicles per day now if you are somebody who doesn't live in chicago I mean, people who live in chicago i feel bad for them okay I mean, you know, young professionals, other families who live there, they have jobs, their kids go to school. They can't just pack up and leave. You know, it's easier said than done. Somebody might say, hey, wh why, do you, why do you choose to live in a city like that? You can just move. No, it's, moving is not that easy, okay? It's, it's, it, it can be said very easily. It's, it's very difficult to do. Because when somebody li lives in a place, you kind of grow roots okay you have your social circles you have your favorite restaurants you have places where you go and hang out spend time you have friends so i feel bad for those who live in chicago because they, they can't just wrap up and leave although at some point you know uh many families may be forced to forced to leave because it's just it's the city is it's becoming so chaotic no words to describe it properly okay but for somebody like me uh, who wants to go to Chicago because I I have a need I, I have some things I need to do there but is it something I can live without yeah I, I don't I don't have to go there it's important for me to make a visit every now and then but I don't have to go I can be flexible 
I don't I don't have any mandatory appearance that I have to make in Chicago so for somebody like me and there are so many other people right who go to Chicago because they want to visit or they they want to go there for tourism or to to meet family or friends or whatever um, but it's not mandatory folks like me if, if we continue to start choosing not to go to Chicago it's gonna be bad for the city if more and more people start avoiding making a trip to Chicago just because they are afraid of the the high crime levels it's gonna be bad for the city and I know that there are businesses major businesses that are that are leaving Chicago or thinking of leaving Chicago uh, you know businesses of all sizes actually now if, if, if that trend continues what's gonna happen to the city in the long run and you know I, I just wanted to share some random thoughts not not, not so random actually it, it all makes sense and there's reason behind everything right I mean why is Chicago the way it is now it's because of poor governance plain and simple when criminals see that there are no there are not much consequences of breaking the law more crimes happen that's what's happening so Chicago poor governance the, the city is in chaos and so as much as I wanted to go to Chicago today I just decided not to so anyway my friends please stay connected to my YouTube channel I'll be back again with more videos I have lots of thoughts I want to share thanks